Hello everyone, welcome back to Tech Genie. In this video, I will be explaining that how to fix there was a problem resetting your PC in Windows 11. So what happened that when you try to reset your PC, either going with keep my file option or remove everything. And after clicking on it, after some time you get a message that there was a problem resetting your PC, no setting has been changed. Alright, so I will be sharing 5 to 6 effective solutions that you need to apply and I'm very positive, very sure that you will be having the solution. And if this works for you, please do not forget to like and subscribe and if for any question, let me know in the comment section. Now, as this problem occurred basically because of some kind of infection, integrity violation, I would recommend you that you should go with running some kind of command that will be scanning your system file and other kind of infection. So on your Windows search, you have to click on it, type CMD, right click on command prompt and choose run as administrator. Then click the permission on yes, the black window will be coming up. Here you have to type the first command that will be SFC space forward slash scan now. Hit enter. Now this command will be scanning for all kind of system integrity violation and you have to wait here until the command is 100% completed. So kindly have some patience and wait and let it get completed. So once the command is completed, you may see this kind of message. Windows resource protection did not find any integrity violation. Probably you see some kind of different message that there was some integrity violation and it has been automatically fixed. Now after this, you have to run the next command that you will be getting in the description. So copy the command and right click over here and it will be automatically pasted. Then hit enter. This is a DISM command that will be restoring the health of your PC or laptop. So again, this may take some time. So you have to wait until this is 100% completed. So once the command is completed, you have to close it. Again, click on the search box, type CMD. Right click on the command prompt and choose run as admin. Click on yes. The black window will again come up. Now here you have to type the next command that again you can copy from the description, paste here and hit enter. So this will be checking your system file. Now in case if you get this kind of message then you have to press the Y key from your keyboard and then from the next restart it will automatically check the disk. Alright, so right up now I will just press N, you can press Y and then you have to copy the next command again from the description, paste here. Hit enter again, then copy the next command, paste here, hit enter. If you get any kind of error message, do not need to worry, you can just proceed with the next command, paste here, hit enter, then again paste the next command, hit enter, and then paste the final command and hit enter. So once it's been done, you have to now restart your PC. And after that, try resetting your PC and see that if the problem has been fixed. Now, in case if the problem is not been fixed, then you have to go with the startup repair. So go to the Windows login screen and from your keyboard, press and hold the shift key. And while holding, you have to press the power icon that is on the very right hand corner and then click on restart. Make sure that you keep holding the shift key. Again, click restart anyway and keep holding the shift key until you see the next screen. And now you will see a screen that says please wait and then finally it will come up with a blue screen that give you a couple of options and here you have to click on troubleshoot then you have to click on advanced options then click on startup repair click on it and see if this able to fix the problem or not now in case if this also doesn't work for you then you can go with system restore okay here is another option of system restore click on it and if you have created any kind of restore point, then you have to select that date when your computer was working fine to any previous date. And sometime even the windows create automatic restore point. So you can also go with that option. So check that date, click on next and see that if the problem get fixed. Now, in case if all these options doesn't work for you, then you have to close it. Again, come back to the same page. Click on troubleshoot. Click on advanced options. And here below you will find another option of see more recovery option. You have to click on it. Then you get an option of system image recovery. Click on it. And I'm using a virtual machine. So this option is not available on my end, but probably you get some kind of system image backup. 
close the box then click on select a system image click on next and if there is any kind of backup file then you have to select that option click on next and after that see that if the problem has been fixed i'm not going in the depth because the video will be very lengthy so you have to follow the steps from your own self from here all right after applying this solution again come back to your page click on continue log into your computer and then again you have to go and try resetting your pc and see that if the problem has been fixed now i'm very sure that this complete list of solution will surely work for you in case if nothing work for you then you have to click on the search box again type recovery then click on recovery options now once you come here you get an option fixed problem without resetting your pc so if you are trying to reset the PC just because of some kind of problem then you can go with this option but if you are trying to sell this PC or you want to intentionally reset this PC then again go with this option and if nothing works for you then you can go with the recovery option with the recovery drive over here and you can try this option as well all right so hopefully guys this complete list of solution will surely work for you and if yes then let me know in the comment section do not forget to like and subscribe for any question any problem let me know in the comment section till then take care bye bye